Welcome into the shop everybody. It is great to have you all here. Now this is a bit of a different video. We're talking about machinery in this video uh, and I'm very excited to do that. I'm going to teach you a little bit about both of these machines, how I use them, what they do, uh, their features. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while and you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I am working with Oliver Machinery now and they sent me both of these. They're 16 inch parallelogram joiner and 20 inch helical head planer. So, before I get in and tell you more about the machines, let's just kick into a really cool montage of me using them. So before I tell you about the details of this machine, let me tell you what it does first. For those of you who don't know, a joiner processes material. So 90% of the wood that comes into my shop is rough sawn lumber. It's pretty much right off the sawmill to the hardwood dealer to my shop. So with rough sawn lumber, you have no flat, square, true faces. It's just rough and there's, there's cups, bows, twists, um, depending on how well it was processed. So what we got to do before we can actually use, say this was a part for a piece of furniture, what we have to do is we have to take our joiner and we have to process it and flatten the faces and get it squared up. That way we can uh, cut joinery in it and do all kinds of things that we need to do to make a piece of furniture. So the first thing we would do is make a flat face on our joiner and get it true, get all the cup, any twist out. Then we would register that against our fence, do the same thing to the edge of the board giving us a flat face, a flat edge that are 90 degrees together. Okay, so you can see here, this is the rough face. Um, one of the exciting things about this process is it reveals what's underneath that rough face, the beauty of the wood. This is a piece of white ash locally from here in Texas. And we now have a flat true face and a flat true edge that are at 90 degrees to each other. So now we have a point to uh, reference to other machines and we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you that process here as we move over to our planer here in a little bit and I talk about that. But the main purpose of this machine is to get a nice clean true edge and this machine does a great job of doing that. All right, so let's take a real quick walkthrough of the machine. The first thing that you're gonna notice and the first great thing is the length of this table. It's 100 inches long. Now, the longer the table, the easier it is to joint longer materials. So if you're gluing up, for instance, a tabletop, you have an eight-foot tabletop, this joiner will very easily joint eight feet it's true and straight. Whereas my old joiner was only 55 inches and it was really difficult to joint long boards. Now you've got the adjustment to your table right here, real nice and convenient. I love how I can just reach over, dial this down. You've got a good scale right here to show you where your cut's at. You can also obviously use the digital readout, which works just as well. There is one safety feature on this, so if you're gonna cut more than an eighth inch, there's a little safety pin here. And I think really the idea with that, it just makes you aware of the fact that you're getting into a heavy cut. Uh, if you don't have a lot of experience with a joiner, you start making heavy cuts, you, uh, can, you can get hurt real quick. So it's a good feature. I, you know, rarely do I go below an eighth of an inch. I have done it just to, just to see what this machine can do. But um, most of the cuts I'm making are an eighth of an inch and up. And if you want to go below that, there's this little release here that allows you to drop that table down. The scale goes all the way to three quarter, but I wouldn't recommend taking a three quarter cut. It'd be kind of gnarly. It sits on a very solid, heavy cast iron base. Um, so it has plenty of mass sitting underneath. This thing is very, very heavy. Obviously has a big safe guard for you here. Um, and then the, my favorite thing is the Helix cutter. There's a lot of people who don't like the Helix. I love the Helix. One of the main reasons I love it is because I run a lot of very hard, knotty, even reclaimed material through. And it, that stuff just destroys straight knives. So the, the Helix is more durable in my opinion. It lasts way longer. Uh, each one of these little carbide uh, cutters has four cutting edges, so they can be rotated 90 degrees. You get four uses out of each one. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't tell you how many are on here. There's a bunch, but um, it, it would take me a while to wear through all of those. Really nice fence, long enough to support uh, 
a, a long material. Like I said, if I'm joining a tabletop, that fence gives me plenty of support. You have an easy lock and unlock here. You can do it with one hand, slide it, slides really easy. This adjusts your tilt, so you loosen this. Your table will tilt to 45, which is nice. If you're cutting, uh, if you need to cut a 45 miter on a long edge of a piece, you can do that very easily with this. And it has a little scale there that reads out what degree you are at. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, we milled up this rough piece of ash on our joiner. Got a flat face, flat edge, true and squared to each other. So the next step would be to jump over to our planer. These machines, when you're milling lumber, are used in uh, unison together. So uh, what the planer can do is now take down our thickness. So since we have a nice flat surface here, we can put that down on our, the bed of our planer and then raise our cutter head and then take off this top rough surface and get it parallel to the bottom and to the thickness that we need for our workpiece. Okay, so that's it. This was the jointed face, flipped it over, ran it through, and now we have a perfectly parallel face to that, exactly an inch and seven eighths of a thick. Um, and if we needed to go thinner, we could just continue running it, dropping the planer head down. The final edge, final rough edge, well, we, can, we could plane this, putting this on the bed. Uh, you have enough width here to do that, or you can just go to your table saw set your fence and rip out the width you need and you have a perfectly dimensioned uh, piece of material ready to cut joinery in. One of the most useful things about this machine um, is the fact that it's on wheels. So it easily can move through my shop. So if I'm using the wide belt, needing to run a tabletop and I need this space, I can easily just move this on over over here, get it out of the way. Very nice feature, one of my favorite things about it. Um, the digital scale obviously is another one of my favorite things. Uh, it gives you an exact readout of the thickness of your material. You can also change this to an incremental setting. So uh, we can say, oh, I want to take off, you know, an eighth of an inch. You just crank it down um, and it'll show you exactly where you're at for your eighth of an inch. It tells you uh, both the decimal place and the fraction of it. So it's, you know, if you don't have it all memorized, it's there for you. You don't have to do that. Very nice feature. Super helpful. I don't even use the scale on the arm. Uh, I only use a digital scale. The big hand wheel makes it, you know, cranking it up and down fairly easy. Uh, and it's nice and smooth. It's got four posts, so it stays all aligned very well. One of the cool features about this as well is the tabletop stays at the same um, place. It doesn't move. The cutter head and the motor are moving in unison as you crank this up and down. So if you have a work table and you have an outfeed table or something, a cart, you can build that cart to exactly this height, feed the piece out, run it around, feed it again. It's a great production setup. So if you're using this machine a lot, running a lot of material, uh, it really helps your workflow to keep the table at the same height. Very well thought out in that regard. Also, you have an adjustable gearbox. So let's turn it on. Right here, we can change the speed. So it has two different speeds. You got 20 feet per minute or 16 feet per minute. So if you have um, a figured piece of wood that's gonna have a lot of chip out, tear out, you can slow that feed rate down and it'll help um, help get it through without a lot of tear out. Although with the helical head, it's, it already has a huge advantage and that it's not, probably not gonna tear out at all. You've got, um, we're running multiple pieces through here is super easy because your rollers are on the top. You've got big, heavy cast iron outfeed tables, which is really nice, easy to adjust to. Really wasn't hard to get those lined up and get that whole table flat. Also, I really like these little top things. It's a great place to store your materials. Set it up there. Mine are nice and 
scuffed up already, which is good. I've been using that a lot. This has a five horsepower single phase motor, plenty of power, and it runs on a five inch dust port. So um, one thing I will mention about my machines right now is they're not properly vent they're not properly hooked up to dust collection. I've got to re redesign things here and I just haven't gotten around to that. So they're not exactly efficient in the dust collection right now because I'm just not hooked up properly. Take the cover off for the drive belt. You can see this is a very nice, thick, heavy, wide, well, well-made belt. This is going to be coming from the motor and running your cutter head and your feed rollers. Uh, just some good quality construction. And as we crank this up and down, all of this moves together. Okay, so that closes it down for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about the planer and the joiner, both workhorses in the shop. These are great machines. I have, they have really helped my production uh, workflow, especially the big joiner that helps so much with my tabletop. So couldn't be happier with the Oliver equipment. Really no complaints at all. Plus the customer service, the people at Oliver are very, very helpful. Super nice people, great to work with. So thankful for this partnership. And I'm very thankful that hopefully here in the future, we're gonna be doing a really cool giveaway to an aspiring woodworker, help, help them get set up with some equipment. So stay tuned for that. There's also gonna be a few more uh, videos coming out uh, on the machines. Uh, and then probably beginning of next year, sometime next year, we're gonna do a complete overview after I've used them for um, you know six, seven months and really have a feel for the machines. Uh, so I can tell you all that's going on with them. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the machines. And um, as always, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.